Yeah, I realized that this was like the light school for me where I can actually like learn and stuff and actually be myself and not have to just be scared of what people think of me. 14-year-old Alex has had an incredible journey trying to discover just where in the world they fit in. It's a journey that began as a traumatic struggle very early for their adoptive parents. Alex's birth mom um, was living on the street and uh, had uh, addiction disease and um, had their tubes tied and got pregnant with Alex. Alex was just determined to be here. Alex has been growing up with FASD, cerebral palsy, epilepsy, dyspraxia, and ADHD, conditions that do not define them. Alex was determined to define themselves. At the start of high school, I started realizing that she, her pronouns weren't really my thing. I'm definitely not my assigned gender. So then I was like, maybe I'm gender fluid, so I went with that, but I realized I was more boy. Education in the public system became increasingly difficult as independent education plans were not followed by the school and Alex became socially ostracized. I realized that they were so lonely and um, it was horrible. I felt like a terrible parent because, you know, you. You just don't always notice these things. What do you want to do now? Hacking. Oh, the hacking program. All right, come on over here. Fortunately, Jennifer took action and found Whitecliff Agile Learning Academy, a private school in Vancouver. And with support provided by Variety, Alex now had an opportunity to learn at their own pace and to find acceptance. Alex had success as he came in and he felt warm, he felt accepted, he felt it's almost like finding your place. And it's not your place alone, it's your place with others. We're able to flex and focus on those things that really increase the student's confidence um, and ability to navigate to their goals in this world that they're going to be living in. I am beyond thankful for all the support from Variety. They were just so kind and helpful, and it's like they actually wanted to help. Without them and without this school, like, I don't know where we'd be right now.